Hello everybody, in this tutorial I would like to talk about the differences between like and I like and what are the uh, ways in order to do the slicing on the pandas and uh, on the data frames. For the data set, I'm going to use the previous data set that I have used for the introduction of pandas. You can uh, download it uh, from the previous tutorial or I'm going to, anyway, leave the link for downloading the data set in the comments. So let's dig in. As the first comment, if you have not loaded the pandas in your script, uh, we have to do it. And we are loading our data set, uh, which is the uh, information of the New York Airbnb uh, data in 2019. And then I'm going to skip the comments that I have uh, uh, done in the previous tutorial. And uh, let's move to the, this part. I would like to first select the first 10 rows in my observation. It is just enough to specify the first index and the last index in the bracket. As you can see in the output, we are uh, seeing the first 10 rows. And if uh, we would like to filter one of the columns in the another bracket after selection of your uh, observation, you have to specify the name of the column. In this case, I wanted to filter just uh, select, not to filter, to select just the price uh, column. As you can see, we are going to see the prices for the first 10 rows, which is exactly similar to the top. And then if I would like to select more than one column, I'm going to define a list, which is by opening another bracket inside the previous bracket and specifying the name of other column. So I'm including minimum nights to the price column to see as the output. So uh, let's uh, go to the differences between lock and I lock. Uh, for understanding the difference, I have uh, created another object which is uh, called TMP in order to set the index uh, separately for this object so we can see how a lock and I lock are performing uh, differently. So just to check out to be sure about the contents of TMP, we can see the output which is totally the same as the uh, Airbnb and then I'm going to set an index for my uh, um, object which is uh, in this case I am setting the host name column as the index so let's check it out as you can see the host name column is um, assigned to the rows as the indexes so we have a, a string based uh, index. So the difference between lock and I lock is in this way that when we have a string based uh, index, well, you have to specify different notation. For lock, you have to specify exactly the name of the string that you would like to um, do the slicing. However, for I lock, you have to um, specify the integer indexes. So as an example, here, I would like to select the rows uh, between John and Laura. So it is just enough to um, call lock. And then in the bracket, I'm going to call uh, John as the first index and then Laura as the last index. So as we can see, we have exactly the output as we expected. However, if we run the same comment for iLock, we are getting an error that it is expecting uh, to receive an integer as the index. So in the next comment, I'm specifying the indexes, uh, which is a selection between the zero to fifth um, row, uh, actually first to fifth row. Uh, and uh, I like is giving me the output as I expected. Uh, however, if I use the integer indexing for lock, this is not going to work with the same reason that I explained before. Uh, 
uh, so let's say uh, that if I want to work with the lock, I have to work uh, specifying the integer index both for rows and the columns. So here I'm selecting just the uh, fourth row and with the selection of all of the columns. However, in the next comment, I am selecting just the first uh, row and uh, I'm selecting the fifth uh, columns which are I specified as the index number, which is one, two, five. And for the lock, you have to specify just based on the string um, indexes, which is like I'm selecting the rows between John and Laura, and I am selecting the columns between name and latitude. So that's it. I hope you enjoy it uh, and hear you soon.